Saturday morning, everyone. As promised, I am here to take you on our day with us. So spend a day in the life with me, if you want. Um, sorry for the raccoon eyes. Totally forgot to take off my makeup last night before I went to bed. I was so tired. I had two videos that needed to be edited and uploaded last night. Um, my collaboration video that I am doing with a bunch of lovely ladies that's going up on Sunday and my grocery haul video needed to be finished and put up. And when I put my grocery haul and meal plan video up, I like to have my website updated with all the recipes for the week in case anyone goes to look for them. And that takes a while. It takes, you know, a good 15, 20 minutes to enter the recipe into the website, put it on where it's supposed to be and stuff like that. And I think I had like six recipes to type in this week, so it took a while. So I got to bed really late. Forgot to take my eye makeup off, and now I look like a raccoon. So anyway, today, um, slept in a little bit. Didn't get up until five. Um, got up, did two eight fit workouts, did my arms, and made coffee and tea. So I am going to grab my coffee, but my tea for me, my coffee for my husband. Get upstairs, get a shower, and get ready for my day. I'm going to make my breakfast and take it with me to the swim meet this morning. Um, they do have breakfast sandwiches at the canteens usually at swim meets, but it's not one I want to eat because it's, you know, a big full bagel usually with sausage that is definitely not low point um, and cheese and all that yummy goodness. My husband will have one there, but I'm just going to make my own. And I never got my bagels made yesterday because it just time got away from me. And uh, so I'm just going to make a breakfast sandwich on two hash waffles. So save a point anyway. Um, I just don't get all that good protein from the hash waffle like I do from the uh, two ingredient bagels, but that's okay. And then after the swim meet, we need to come home and get ourselves together and get to my friend's baptism and adoption party. And I will take you along on our day. So stay tuned. I will be back. We are off and on our way to the swim meet. It's not too far away, only about, what, a half an hour? Yeah. Only about a half an hour away. Um, of course, we had to make a quick stop at Duncan for the boys. Doug, oh, I get it, Adam. What was it? Adam needed his sausage, egg, and cheese wake up wrap. Um, he doesn't like to really eat before the swim meet too much. I mean, they don't actually start racing until nine, so that'll give him enough time. It's a little something in his stomach, probably that in a built bar, and um, it'll give him enough time to digest it before he has to swim. And Doug got his iced coffee that is a tradition with him on swim meet mornings his hazelnut swirl iced coffee and a what's it called a power breakfast sandwich yeah what is that it's um a certain kind of um, muffin but it's like it's like a multi-grain multi thin muffin. thing yeah and like uh, egg whites and turkey sausage yeah it's and i have i made myself a hash waffle sandwich um Try to show it to you. There it is. Oh, it's so sunny. Two hash waffles with uh, Canadian bacon and egg in the middle. It is really bright out here. And today, look, no glasses. I have my contacts in for the first time in a week, so we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm scared to death, but um, hopefully it all goes well. And huh? Say a prayer. Say a prayer. Yes. Um, I put them in right before we left and I'm gonna take them out as soon as we get home from the party this afternoon. So give my eyes a little bit of a break. So hopefully it all goes well. I do have my glasses and my contact keys with me in case I have to take them out, but I hope not. So anyway, we are on our way and I will see you when we are at the swim meet. They are getting ready to march in. Here goes my guy swimming in the butterfly in the 200 meter medley relay. All the way, all the way. 
Going into the final relays, we are ahead, so it is a great feeling. Hopefully we can hold it through the final relays, get these done, get out of here so I can go home and get ready to go to the party. And I got very hungry because my job changed from timer to runner, and I have not stopped all morning running back and forth all over the pool deck. So I am having a snack of grapes and watermelon. We are on our way home, the meet is over, and we were victorious, so that's a lot of fun. Um, it was kind of weird only having one kid swimming um, this year, because my other son, of course, has aged out, and he actually is now a coach at a different club. Luckily, we don't compete against that club, because that would be kind of weird, but, um, and his team is doing well. He texted me, and they're winning their meet, so he's about 45 minutes away. Um, so we'll already be gone for the party by the time he gets home. So I can't wait to talk to him and see how his very first coaching experience went. But we are happy. We won. And great start to the season. Now time to go home and get ready. My hair is already done. My girlfriend did my hair for me at the end of the meet. I'll have to take a picture of it. It looks really cute. It's a French braid wrapped around my head. So we just have to clean up, get changed, and head on out. So we are done at the adoption party. I was going to try to film a little bit from there, but it was very, very crowded and very, very noisy. And I really wanted to be careful about who I filmed because there were a lot of foster kids there who, you know, for their privacy and a lot of things, um, they shouldn't really be on camera. So I decided not to, but I did take a picture of what I ate. Um, and I will insert that right after this clip. Um, the food was absolutely delicious and the salad she had, she had three different green salads and oh my gosh, the one was so good. I had an entire plate full of it. It was that good. It was just arugula with some walnuts and uh, a little bit of mozzarella and tomatoes and a uh, raspberry vinaigrette and it was delicious. So I was quite happy, quite satisfied and I think I did okay. Um, I'm probably just going to count it as all my points or close to all my points. It's still early. It's only four o'clock. So I am sure by seven o'clock, I'll start to get a little hungry again. And that's why I keep like black bear turkey in the house because it's zero points for two ounces and it's protein and it fills me up. Slap that on an Ole Extreme wrap and I've got a nice, you know, one point little sandwich. So that's my plan. And we are heading home. We really wanted to go to Trader Joe's. I wanted to go to Trader Joe's. But we're exhausted from being out in the sun all day. So we are just going to call it a day. Go home and, I don't know, piddle around and do something. There's always something to do. I have a collab video that I need to record for Monday. So I'll probably do that. Maybe do a little work on the website. Maybe just take a nap on the hammock in the backyard. I think that's... Yeah, Doug just said, that sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I think maybe that's what we'll do. So, I will be back later on tonight. So, we did come home and we did take a wonderful nap on the hammock outside. Um, I left Doug out there sleeping for a while longer. Um, and I came in to get some stuff done. Um, I have all those vegetables to cut up and the fruit to cut up that I bought um, yesterday. And it's so quiet in the house. Adam is, he had to go to work after the swim meet. He had to work um, at 3.30 and then after the pool closes, they're having a private party tonight that he has to guard. So he probably won't be home until about 11.30. And Andrew got called into work because of um, lots of, lots and lots of people there. Um, so they needed a second manager. But then they didn't need him, so he ended up taking off and going to the shore with his cousins for the evening. Um, so we probably will not see him until tomorrow morning because I believe he is spending the night there. So I got all of my stuff cut up and now I am going to get the kitchen cleaned up from that. I am going to take a nice hot bath and Doug and I will probably sit on the couch and watch a movie. 
and I'm probably going to be in bed kind of early because I am tired and tomorrow's another busy day. We have church and then we have another party to go to. And then we're having um, a friend from California who we grew up with is back in Jersey visiting. So she's coming over tomorrow night. So lots going on tomorrow too. So we'll see what happens. I will turn you around and I will show you all the stuff I cut up and prepped. So I cut up a pineapple, cut up a cantaloupe, they're ready to go. Cut up a watermelon, half of it fit in this container, actually the lid didn't even fit, the lid didn't fit on. Um, half of it is in another container down in the downstairs fridge. Um, I cut up and marinating the kohlrabi. My son likes it in the balsamic uh, dressing. And then I have just some plain that I like to put some salt on and just eat, you know, with nothing. Then I took all those frying peppers, cut those up with some onions, about a tablespoon of olive oil, and let them fry for about 45 minutes till they're nice and soft. And we will use those on sandwiches and in eggs and things like that. And that is what I will be having in a little bit. I am going to make some scrambled eggs with some peppers in them because I am a little bit hungry. Didn't have a lot of protein at the party, um, as you saw by my plate. Um, the sandwich, the chicken sandwich that I had on the plate, I only ate half of it. Doug and I split it, so I gave him half. I had a lot of salad, um, so didn't really have a lot of protein, and I am a little bit hungry. So I'm going to have some eggs and peppers, and I'm going to call it a night. So thanks for hanging out with me today. And that's all I have for you. I will be back probably Monday for what I eat in a day. Um, actually, tomorrow morning, early, like 6, 5.30, 6 a.m., I think, uh, Eastern Time, I have a collaboration video going up with uh, Barrett Pastor from Living Life on Track and a whole bunch of other ladies. We all did a recipe from the Hungry Girl collection. So look for that. I made eggplant lasagna, and it was absolutely delicious so look for that collaboration tomorrow i think there's about a dozen of us in it so check everybody out check mine out and that's that i will see you soon for a full day of eating take it easy guys stay on track